Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is another example of uh, the effect of heat on solids and liquids. Uh, he's asking if we have 100 grams of ice at zero degree C is mixed with 100 grams of water at 70 degree C. What is the final temperature of the mixture? Uh, my son, this type of problems where the final uh, temperature is, uh, uh, is not clear enough, uh, you cannot simply say that heat gained equals heat lost or heat gained plus heat lost equals zero uh, will um, or might result in wrong answers, uh, uh, unlogic answer. So in order to answer this question, we need to uh, make pre-judgment. You have to judge what will be the final situation first, okay? We are not sure uh, whether all of this ice will be melted, okay? Uh, or it might melt all the ice, then we will end up with a final temperature which is uh, between zero and 70 degrees C. So before uh, moving into answering the question, I have to make a pre-judgment. Uh, so how much heat is needed to melt all the ice? So heat needed to melt all ice, this will be the mass of ice multiplied by the latent heat of fusion. If you calculate this, this is 0 0.1, which is 100 grams, multiplied by 333,000, and this will be 33,300 joules. We need this much heat in order to uh, melt all the ice. Okay. How much heat will the water lose by uh, reducing the temperature from 70 degree C to down to zero degree uh, C. So Q um, uh, released released uh, from water by changing its temperature from 70 degree C down to zero degree C. I'm talking about the uh, heat lost, but the magnitude of that, the absolute value of this amount of heat, okay? This will be mass of water, specific heat of water, okay? Uh, the difference in temperature, which is uh, 70, I'm taking the absolute value. Plugging the numbers, this will be uh, 0 0.1 kilogram, specific heat 4186 joules per kilogram Kelvin, uh, multiplied by 70, and this will uh, result in the following, 29,302 joules. As you can see, the amount of heat available or released from the water uh, by decreasing its temperature from 70 to 0 degrees C, this will, uh, this is less than the amount of heat needed to melt all the ice. What can, what can we conclude from this? So Q needed is less than the amount of heat available or released available or released from uh, water as its temperature decreases from 70 degrees C down to zero degree C. So what will be the conclusion? The conclusion that not all of ice will melt because we don't have enough uh, heat to melt all the ice. To melt all the ice, we need 33,000 plus. But all what we have is just 29,000, uh, okay? So final temperature will be uh, zero with uh, some of the ice melted. So it will be a mixture of ice and water at what temperature? At zero degree C, okay? So it will be zero, zero degree C. If we ask one more, up to this point, we finished the answering the question. Answering the question, uh, final temperature will be zero degrees C, and it will be a mixture of ice and water at that zero degree C. Now I'll add one more question to understand uh, the problem. If he asks to find, find how much ice is melted, how much ice 
uh, melts. In this case, how much ice melts? Okay, so the amount of heat available in the water or released from the water will be absorbed by uh, ice. So, if I write Q gained by ice plus Q lost from water, this will be equal to will be equal to zero. Okay. And the amount of heat gained by ice will be the mass of ice melted. Okay, it is not the 100 gram anymore. I am uh, asking about how much ice melts. So the mass of ice melted multiplied by the latent heat of fusion, okay, plus that amount of heat which uh, was released from uh, water, which is uh, 29,302. Uh, all of this is equal to zero. Of course, this will be minus because it is the heat, the heat lost. So the, ma the mass of ice melted will be 29302 divided by latent heat of fusion of uh, uh, ice is 333000. And this will give us uh, the amount which is 0 0.088 uh, kilogram. Uh, or this is equal to 88 grams of ice melts, okay? And what is remaining will have 12 grams uh, will be solid, solid ice, okay? So 88 gram is water, melted ice, and 12 gram will, will be uh, uh, solid, uh, solid ice. Let me elaborate even more and change the question now and say, uh, rather than having 100 grams of water, we have 200 grams of water, okay? So the same amount of ice at the same temperature, okay? Now I have 200 grams of water at 70 degrees C. What will be the final, uh, what will be the final temperature, okay? So let me do it uh, in this side here. F Instead, we have 100 gram of ice at uh, zero degrees C mixed with or added to uh, 200 grams of water at 70 degrees C. What do you think uh, the effect will be? Of course, the amount of heat needed to melt all the ice we have calculated before, okay? But now we'd like to see how much heat can be released from the 200 grams of water by cooling down. So Q available, Q needed to melt ice. This didn't change and we calculated before, it is 33,300 joules. The amount of heat uh, released from water released from water, as we call it from 70 degrees C down to zero degrees C, this can be calculated to be, it is the same as we calculated before, the only difference is uh, we replace 0 0.1 with 0 0.2 because we have now 200 grams, not 100 grams of, of water, okay? So it will be double uh, that much, okay? If you calculate that, this will be 0 0.2 for uh, 186 multiplied by uh, 70. If you do this calculation, you will get double that amount of heat, which is 58,600 for joules. So we have more than enough. 58,000 is much greater than 33,000. So we are sure that all ice will melt, Okay, so conclusion, conclusion, all ice will melt. Not only that, we have extra and more uh, heat available. So final temperature, final temperature will be greater than zero. So it will be enough to heat uh, the ice above zero degrees C or the melted ice above zero degrees C 
Of course, it will be less than the initial uh, temperature of water, which was 70. So this is the final temperature. It should be somewhere between uh, 0 degrees C and 70 uh, degrees C. To find that one, that temperature, how much is the final temperature of this uh, composite? Okay. Also, we will answer this question saying that Q gained by ice plus Q lost from water, this will be equal to, will be equal to zero. Of course, here, this will be negative. This will be, will be positive. Okay. Answer this question. The amount of heat gained by ice will be mass of ice multiplied by the latent heat of fusion because all ice will get melted now. And this ice, its temperature will increase after being melted. So mass of ice multiplied by specific heat of water because it is not ice anymore. It is now uh, melted ice, okay? So it is the mass of ice multiplied by the specific heat of water because it has been melted. Multiplied by T final minus T initial. So T final minus the initial temperature of the ice which was zero after being melted. Okay, so this is the amount of heat gained by ice. What about the amount of heat lost by water? So this will be plus mass of water multiplied by specific heat of water multiplied by T final minus T initial, which was 70. Okay, of course, T final will be less than 70. So this quantity will be negative, okay? Because T final is less than uh, 70. This is equal to, this is equal to zero. All what you need now is to plug in the numbers. Mass of ice is 0 0.1 kilogram. Latent heat is 333000. Mass of ice 0.1, specific heat 4186 for water. T final is unknown, mass of water is 200 grams, so I plug here 0 0.2, specific heat of water is 4, 4186, T final is unknown, and you solve for uh, T final. If you do the calculations carefully, T final will turn out to be approximately 20, 20 degrees C. As I told you, here T final is greater than 0 and less than 70, and 20 uh, satisfies this. Uh, question. In conclusion, my son, if you have such a problem where the final state of the composite uh, um, is in doubt, you have to make the necessary judgment before going uh, to the popular uh, uh, formula, which says heat gained by one component plus heat lost from the other component is equal to, is equal to zero. Uh, with my best wishes. Thank you.